Hey guys, welcome back. So this question says, if a is greater than zero, which of the following could be an equation of the graph shown in the figure to the right? So this question is really testing your knowledge of function transformations. So this a, if you notice in all of the answer choices, we have an a here. And it doesn't matter what that a number is, well it does, but basically it's gonna follow a certain pattern. So let's look at the first one for example. So ax squared. So this a is going to affect how wide or skinny this parabola is. If a is let's say eight, this is gonna be a lot skinnier. And let's say if it's something like one half, it's actually gonna be a lot fatter. So if a is less than one, it gets fatter. If it's greater than one, it gets skinnier. So now looking at B and C, these are both vertical shifts. So I call that vertical shifts. So whenever A is not attached to X, I consider this being attached to it because it's in the parentheses. These are horizontal shifts. There we go. And vertical, again, is when A is not attached. Horizontal is when A is attached. So with vertical shifts, if you have a minus A here, that's just going to shift the parabola down. If you have a plus A, it's going to shift it up. Horizontal is a bit different because if you have a minus A, this shifts it to the right. And if you have a plus A, it gets shifted to the left. In this case, that doesn't really matter, so I won't focus on that too much. I just wanted to give you a brief overview, overview of transformations. But in this case, since the vertex is shifted up, it's going to be this one. So just a quick reminder, this is down, this is up, this is uh, minus, so right, and this is left. If you had any trouble with this uh, problem, I would recommend Googling uh, transformations of functions or transformations of parabolas, something like that. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.